Prologue. A true story. This is a true story of David Clark, born in Oldham, Lancashire in 1949. During the 60s, he and his elder brother Michael began to enjoy lives of crime, promiscuity, infamy, during their teenage years, whilst living in Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire. They lived with their parents and younger sister in Aylesbury, but became criminals. They were both sent to prison in 1967 for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a licence. David served time in Dover Borstal and Michael served his time in Maidstone Prison. On leaving Borstal in 1968, David was determined to have a good time, living a life of crime, with no fear or belief in God, respect for society or parents, or the wider family. He proceeded on a three-year career of undetected crime until he met a Christian woman who informed him that his lifestyle was wrong. It became David's opinion that Christianity was for people who could not stand on their own two feet. On the 16th of January 1970, David was arrested whilst he experienced a bad trip on LSD, but not by the police. It was by the Lord Jesus Christ who spoke to him after he cried out to God for help. Jesus said to David, that the horrors that he was experiencing was nothing compared to what hell was like. David turned away that Friday night from a sinful life of crime and immorality to follow Christ as best he could. David began to read the Bible immediately and other Christian books and attended a wide range of Christian churches. He finally confessed to the police the 24 crimes that he had committed during his release from Borstal in 1968 and his conversion. David eventually joined the Beaton Strict and Particular Baptist Church in 1974 and then trained as a lecturer, commencing teaching electronics at Luton College of Higher Education and taught for 22 years in colleges of higher and further education until 2002. The Beaton Church, which was founded in 1831, became a Gospel Standard Course in January 1981. David was called by the Lord and sent by the church to preach the gospel wherever the Lord opened the door for him to preach. David then sought to reach his old friends from the past and organise a preaching meeting at the Beaton Chapel in 1983, inviting all his old friends to come and hear of all what the Lord had done for him. Providentially, that preaching meeting was televised on video and is available on YouTube under the title David Preaching at Beaton Strict and Particular Baptists 5th of June, 1983. David recalls that it became apparent after this meeting his real troubles as a Christian began and he seceded from the Beaton Church in 1984. An account of this secession was written by David's own hand entitled The Beaton Crisis. This story is a complete account of David's early life, experience of conversion from crime to Christ and the life in the Beaton Strict of Particular Baptist Church. He concludes that men may begin well in their faith towards God, trusting in the person and finished works of Jesus Christ alone for their salvation, but then fall from grace into the error of seeking to please God by works according to their own inventions or distortions of the law of Moses. They fall into the trap of making themselves perfect in the flesh and then judging others who do not act like them. The story continues to the time of Michael's arrest, David's brother, in the Philippines in 1995, and his 16-year prison sentence. The story goes on through to Michael's own conversion from crime to Christ in New Bilibir Prison some 30 years after David's own conversion to Christianity. This occurring after he was convinced that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the Living God, through reading C.S. Lewis's book, mere Christianity. It tells of his baptism as a Christian in an old army oil drum in the prison in September 2000. The story demonstrates the manifold grace of God in saving two brothers from a life of sin, crime, immorality through the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. This book is really David's confession and testimony written for the defence and confirmation of the gospel. David also believes the things that have happened to him have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Philippine 1, verse 7 and verse 12. David's solution to help and assist in the promotion of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is the creation of Beaton Particular Baptist Open College and Internet Crowd and also the formation of Beaton Particular Baptist College in Pakistan. This is outlined in the last chapter of this book.
Those wishing to be trained and educated in the doctrines of grace can enrol and obtain all the assistance they need.